Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Grace and peace, look up please, be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of our God and of Jesus our Lord. Verse 3. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Verse 4. It says, whereby are given to us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. I want to show you very powerful principles right now and I want you to please pay attention. I will show you how to receive the manifold grace of God and I will also show you how to activate the workings of that grace. You will be very surprised that some of you, what you need is not more impartation. What you need is an orientation to know how to release the grace that you have received. That grace came upon your life five years ago. It's still resting there domiciled because you do not know how to activate it. And it will look like every miracle service or every impartation were a lie. Some of us even boast that truly I am a carrier of so, so, so and so grace. And you are not lying. But the results connected to that grace have refused to speak in your life because you do not know how to activate it. Are you ready to learn now? The first key, I want to show you the keys now. The first key that is responsible for accessing the grace of God, any dimension of His grace, and it is also the first key to activating any grace you have received. Please listen. Responsible for both receiving any dimension of grace, whether the healing anointing, whether the anointing for wealth and abundance, the anointing for leadership, the grace for territorial influence, it doesn't matter what variety and what dimension that grace is. The first key is that you must contend for high level spiritual illumination. High level spiritual illumination. The Bible says grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge. The knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ knowledge everybody write that down high level spiritual illumination the more spiritually enlightened you are the more the grace of god is attracted to your life multiplied in your life and activated in your life please listen 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 carefully koinonia look at me you will write what let me have your attention that means show me two people in a meeting that I lay hands, for instance, on them, imparting the same grace. Are we together? Let's say the healing anointing. This man received that impartation, brother A. This man received the same impartation, brother B. Two of them. And I say, go. Go and be effective witnesses. You will be surprised that after five years, six years, one can have a flourishing global healing ministry, taking the healing power of Jesus to the nations. Are we together? Whereas the other person can be kept down, grounded, and may never, you will, it's only by photo or old videos, you will know that he was in that healing meeting. And you said, my brother, you were there too. Yes, sir. Hands were laid on you. I even fell down. And you ask, okay, so what happened with that anointing? I will tell you the difference. One went to war with that grace by contending for light. Are we together? He went and wrote down all the scriptures he could find in the Bible about healing. He read all the stories as, as he was priming his mind with light. He was giving more room for that grace to speak as well as multiplying that grace because in the stories there are different variations of how Jesus healed. In the stories of healing there were questions that were asked Jesus. Why couldn't this, well you know, this demon leave? And he said this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting. Who seen that this man was born blind? Now these are things that the anointing, the impartation will not teach you. 
It's in the place of study you will see those variations. Because when you stand on the crusade ground, it's not only headaches that will come. There are sicknesses that can be caused by stress. There are sicknesses that are caused by a broken spirit. It's not a demonic attack. The person is depressed and broken and is affecting their physical body. The approach is different. There are certain sicknesses that as a, a result of prolonged demonic activities. The demons did not intend to make the person sick. They've only stayed in the person for a long time. So they ministered death to the person. The sickness was a byproduct of their presence for a long time. Remember, two of them have the healing anointing. But one will have an excelling healing ministry. And you are wondering, God, you are not being fair. How did you anoint this man so much? And when they asked that anointed man, who imparted upon you? He can say Joshua Selman. When they asked this, our brother, who imparted you? He will also say Joshua Selman. So what is the difference? Light. Light. Many of you have received impartations that have refused to multiply and are not being activated because the responsibility of contending for light, light along the area of impartation, not just every area. The grace you believe you have received, you contend for light that activates and multiplies that grace. If I impart the grace for favor upon you and you just go and study on healing, the grace for favor will remain small and will remain inactive because healing scripture is not the scripture that activates the grace for favor. Are we learning now? Most believers think an impartation is the end of everything. They do not know that that seed that has been sown in you, you should go back home and nurture it. Today, by the privilege of God's grace, and I say this with all humility, we are able to hold large meetings, global meetings across the globe today. I know where that grace came from. That grace came from Reinhard Bonke. I am a recipient of manifold graces. When you receive graces, it speaks. I was not the only one on that crusade ground, by the grace of God. I know when it came. I would not dare to do the things I'm doing today. It's beyond having money. It's beyond having whatever I name. No. You cannot go across the globe. I saw Reinhard Bonke. He left the US, came to Africa. Every African nation packed stadiums, not just for the formality. And I said, no, there is a grace. If a frail man like this, beyond his speakings, when I stood at that crusade ground, I didn't go for entertainment. I knew what I desired. When it landed upon me, I went back to war upon it. I got the words of Jesus. I've studied every single crusade of Jesus in the Bible. I don't know how many times. Everybody say light. Don't fool yourself that just because you were under an anointed atmosphere, automatically that grace will speak. I'm showing you why impartations don't seem to work for many people in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. You know how many videos of Reinhard Bonke, of T.L. Osborne, of Maurice Cerullo? I have rare videos. Some of them I bought it. Are we together now? And I sat down. There were times I was not watching it for entertainment. I was watching it for connection. A spirit connection. What did these people receive? And you are soaking in your spirit. You may not get it the first day. You will listen to that sermon. Ah, there is still something. One day, you will hear something only you will hear. That is the day something has rested on your life. Hallelujah. Are you learning now? You've heard my story. I didn't used to prophesy like this, oh, like to prophesy. I could speak over people, but to see and hear, no. It was in the night watching William Branham's message. 
I was looking and I said, look at this innocent man. People have accused him. People have said all kinds of things. Maybe the man made mistakes. So what? Not many people have his kind of compassion. I remember that night. It was not my first time watching it. And I just felt like it was like a cold sensation from my laptop. Literally, I see the hand came out, rested upon my head, and it started going down. Over a period of 30 minutes, I was shaking quietly there. I said, what is this that is happening to me? It was a new dimension. But it came at the point of hunger. It came at the point of study. Is someone learning? I desired the grace for favor. I was searching for careers of it because I knew that my life without that grace the word of God is there, but graces are distributed through the ministry of men. When I found a man, Dr. Mike Mudok, you see that? I saw the wisdom of God at work in him. I saw the manifestations of favor from the testimonies upon his life. And I said, Lord, I believe you have deposited something upon the life of this man. There were many people who knew him, others ate with him, others walked in his ministry. That was not my business. I was desirous of that grace. For one month, I was praying over the grace for favor with scriptures. When it landed, every devil in hell knew that that grace had come. Are we learning? The first way you attract, multiply. Listen, you attract multiply and activate the manifold graces in their variety look if you know what I'm teaching you you will never go for any anointed meeting and return back and then your life does not change you will not waste impartations again and you will not need to go for a meeting twice to receive sometimes you may not have the opportunity to be under that grace twice it may just be once if I, if I missed out on that encounter with Reinhard Bonke, I never met him one-on-one. -on -one, but I remember that first day. I stood on that crusade ground. I saw mighty miracles. Honestly, you, you would almost think they were stage managed. What sort of a thing is this? My heart desired it. Not for the loss of... I was already a man of God seeing a bit of miracles there but i knew that with my level of miracles you can't go to the nations that way you will embarrass yourself and the name of the lord living epistles here was a man who exemplified dimensions that were possible for anyone hungry and desperate by the second day i made up my mind that i will not just come and stand here I wanted to serve. I remember, you've heard my story. I, I came early. I was looking for something to do. Was not interested in being a man of God or whatever. I saw them wheeling those who were, had wheelchairs. They were wheeling them somewhere and I pleaded. I said, please let me help and push the people there too. They said I was not trained. I wasn't part of the committee. I said, which committee? I traveled all the way with hunger. Committee? As I held the wheelchair and drove it forward, I was praying in tongues. I didn't even know who was seated there. Lord, this is how it will be in my own meetings too. The Bible says, and without all contradiction, it's not human worship. The less is blessed of the greater. I stood there, you've heard my story. For six hours, I was standing. There was a pregnant woman close to me. Occasionally, the woman would be tired, you know, pray and lean on me. You know, I was tired too. I wanted to say, Madam, what is all this one now again? But honestly, God sees my heart. My eyes were set like a flint. I was looking at this man as if nothing would distract me. In pain, hungry, but I stood with my heart open. I remember when he was done preaching, very simple message. He was taking a cup of water so that he would now minister the baptism and start healing. My hunger had reached the heavens. And that was when, just, it was, I did not even know I was in a vision. I'm telling you, I saw a bird, giant bird, 
white silvery wings he was not he was not flapping the wings he was just going around the entire crusade ground and i was watching that bird and saying what is this going on this is a manifestation of the holy spirit i was about to receive something something that will benefit my destiny that will benefit my generation that will bring glory to the name of the lord You see, Ba, don't disrespect people's sacrifices. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. As I'm speaking to you, I still remember this like yesterday. It was hovering round. I was lost in that crusade ground, even though I was in front. And the Spirit of God took me to Genesis chapter 1. And verse 2 and the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters and that was where God told me the union between the movement of the Spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miracle do you know as I came back to myself I was back in the stage I didn't even know I had turned I rejoiced I said finally something had entered my spirit but I did not just go back saying oh yeah where are the sick people I would be disappointed because that impartation as spectacular as it was it was a seed I went back to open the Bible light light and he healed them all light Matthew chapter 10 from verse 1 Matthew chapter 10 from verse 7 Matthew chapter 10 from verse 8 heal the sick cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Light, I was giving frame to that grace. He went about healing all day that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy. I didn't see so much of deliverance in Renhabonke's crusade. The man whose crusades I saw mighty deliverance was T.L. Osborne. I saw dimensions of grace. I didn't see too many creative miracles, but I saw it in T.L. Osborne's meetings. Genuine miracles. Is someone learning? I knew that there was a grace that commands the attention of people he said, hear ye him anointing. I had seen that grace upon our father in the Lord, Daddy Gio. I had seen that grace upon our father in the Lord, Bishop Oedeko. No arguments, no stupid talk. If you don't have results, keep quiet. If you don't desire, stay with God. Pursuit. I remember when I returned from Canaan land, I didn't just get up and jump. No, I opened the Bible. Ah. That was when I found Mark chapter 1 and verse 37. And all the disciples came to him and they said, All men seek for thee. All men seek for thee. All men seek for thee. I saw a grace of influence upon Dr. Miles Munro. Strange influence. Influence with governmental powers. And not a, a man of God. Yet he was speaking at parliaments speaking to people and I knew that grace was needed in my life that was when I found Genesis chapter 7 and verse 16 17 and verse 6 and I will make you exceeding fruitful and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee let me tell you brothers and sisters every time you receive an impartation that is not the time to brag and post yourself falling down or post an anointed man laying hands on you Posting does not activate the anointing. Go back and get relevant scriptures. Except you want to be a herbalist. If it is by God and by the Spirit, go and sit down and get the word of God. What is the basis for your carrying favor? Apostle laid hands on me. No, sir. No, sir. I searched the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Now that I received this grace, the grace for wisdom came from many people. But that grace for favor, I saw it on Dr. Mudok. I desired it with all my heart. Profound man with strange testimonies of favor. Others did not appreciate it. 
Others trivialize it like they trivialize every sacrifice of everyone in the body. But I press for it. I didn't want to do ministry and be suffering around, especially financially. I didn't want to tell lies and manipulate people. And I knew there was a way. Is someone learning? This is very powerful. Manifold grace. No matter what grace you receive, I'm telling you now, if you contend for light, sometimes my people come here to lead prayers and they share with you the various graces that are available in this house. Shouting amen is wonderful. Falling under the anointing is wonderful. But I am telling you, you will stay under that grace. Even if I tie my hands on your head and sleep off and wake up, you will be surprised that your life will not work. Do you know why? Because it is light dependent. Someone shout light. light. Shout again, say light. light. Can you show me the scriptures that support the healing anointing you carry? Can you show me the scriptures that support the ministry of Jesus you want to replicate? Can you show me the ministry that, su that supports your being prosperous? Empty handedness. Nothing is done in this ministry without scripture. No, the believer's life is bound to scripture and the operations of God as revealed in scripture. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. You know it. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. You see, one day I was in the place of meditation when the Lord began to speak to me that there is such a grace for speed. And I said, speed? Who exemplifies that grace for speed? Well, if there's nobody, at least the Holy Ghost is here. And there were two scriptures that fired into my spirit. I remember Esther chapter 2 and verse 8, 8 and 9, speed. That is a dimension of God's favor. Verse 9, please. Give it to us. The Bible says, And the maiden Esther pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him, and he speedily gave her the things for her purification. That when men obtain favor, part of its expression is speed. Speed. Genesis chapter 27. Jacob, Isaac is about to bless his son, and Jacob pretends to be Esau. And he said, How is it? That you have returned so quickly he said it's because the Lord had brought it unto me so speed is a reality speed is a reality Lord I receive it I contend for speed do you believe what you are hearing let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen the graces you have received, even from this house, is enough to have distinguished you. But many of us are not careful to attract, manage, multiply, and even activate it through light. I listen to every teaching that comes from here. It doesn't matter that I am the one who God is using. I listen to it because every communication of the Spirit has grace behind it. I listen to improve myself, but I also listen to receive. When it's a time to pray, it is not apostle listening to apostle. No, it is me, a believer, receiving from a man of God. Are we together? Yeah. Yesterday morning, I listened to last month's um, miracle service. All of the prayer and the prophetic words, God is my witness. I was on my knees on start to, from start to finish, shouting amen with all my heart to every prophetic word that came. Look, results are not, don't doubt, if you are not working it, then don't blame God for it not working in your life. You must activate this thing by light. Someone say light. Shout again, say light. Please be a student of scripture. Don't just shout around saying, I know this one, that the Jew laid hands on me. I even sat down in his car. Bishop Oedeko, I met him somewhere. He laid hands on me. When I was coming, Papa Kumuyi laid hands on me. This one laid hands on me. Thank God for that. But men will only turn to idols in your life if you don't support your impartation by, with scripture. 
Are we together? Let me tell you the truth. Everything that is not working in your life, it is because the grace for it is not there or the grace for it is not yet activated. And the number one diagnosis, like you are learning tonight, is light along the area of that grace, the grace you desire. If you are broke and finances is not working, don't argue and insult rich people. You are broke, you are broke. In Christ, you are not broke. But physically, financially, institutionally, as your account balances, you are broke there. Come to terms early and say there is a way out. I need to get out of this shame and not keep giving excuses. If there is someone in my same Nigeria and God is exalting that person, Lord, I take responsibility. The blessing is upon me. I need to give evidence to it through my obedience. Go and get the right materials. As you are listening, light will come upon your spirit and that grace may even be grace that is already there suddenly it is activated and someone says i've been looking for you for five years where are you god said i should send you 10 million and you receive that 10 million and say it's a lie this, then it happens again then it happens again then you know that the grace has truly come and you know that the grace is working let me tell you the truth everything that is not yet working in your life can work if you want it can work if you want it can work if you want it can work favor power grace influence results can work if you want it koinonia are we learning mm. can work if you want it can work if you want it. Can work if you want it. I read a scripture about God anointing Jesus with the Spirit without measure. And I said, I, I, I read about Oral Robert and the way he would lay hands on over three to 5,000 people one by one. And I said, well, I respect him and I thank God for the way God worked with him. But I don't have the grace to start laying hands on everybody one by one. You see, I may die young doing that and I'm not ready for that kind of thing. But I now read the story of Moses that from one place he stood and the spirit upon him fell on 70 people without him touching them one by one. I said, this is a dimension. It's still the ministry of the spirit. It's the one your faith chooses. If, I, if there is an opportunity for ease, why not? Then I also read about Jesus. He breathed on the people and said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. I said, that means there is an, a more efficient way of communicating spirit things. If you have an opportunity to lay hands, that's wonderful. But that you can speak from one point. But that grace was activated. It multiplies through light. Man of God. You are called into the healing ministry truly. You are called into the prophetic ministry truly. Have you studied the prophets in the Bible? Have you studied them? Don't just say a prophet laid hands on me. Have you studied the prophets in the Bible? There were, there were ungodly prophets in the Bible. Prophets of Baal, there were godly prophets. Which one have you studied? How do you know the difference? How do you know a familiar spirit is not using you? Are we together? Businessman, you want the grace that builds. Have you studied the life of Solomon? Solomon built. Have you studied the life of Joseph? Joseph built. Have you studied the life of Joseph of Arimathea? He built. There were many people who built in the Bible. You have not activated that investment of the spirit, that dimension of grace by light. I'm praying for you. Whatever is fighting your access to light, whatever is stopping you from having the discipline to sit down and study till light comes into your spirit, I command that resistance to leave you now. Do you know? Look at me. Let me tell you the truth. There are many believers today who don't even have a good Bible, whether electronically or otherwise. There are men of God who only have a Bible that was given to them as a gift. 
some of the chapters are torn your respect for light determines the degree of grace that works for you your respect for light your respect for light your respect for light another person will not be submitting himself to scripture laboring with prayer and fastings and you are there watching movies from morning till night till forever and you want to walk at the same level of grace God is not mocked ladies and gentlemen he says do not be deceived God is not mocked whatsoever a man soweth are we together you can sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap life everlasting you can sow to the flesh and of the flesh reap corruption by this teaching God is telling someone wake up don't be shouting and saying I have a great destiny you will wake up to make it happen when you wake up then you sit down open up scripture Lord you are sending me as a healing evangelist to the nations so that I don't become a casualty to myself what are the keys to the healing anointing get books healing the sick Charles and Francis Hunter books by T.L. Osborne books by veterans of healing not talkers of it men and women whose lives embodied authentic healing ministry stay with it camp with it camp with it until light breaks forth and i tell you one day it is your own books that people will be drawing from they will say because of the spectacular investment upon this life it is important that we come and read it is important that we come and study many times people see me and say apostle write books now write books and i tell them wait there is something I need to have to enrich what I want to write. I don't want to write nonsense. I want to write something that can bless a generation. That when we tell you this is a way God has used our life to show, you will walk on that way, on that path, and find life indeed. Spirit of Revelation. I saw a lot of organizations suffer suffer in terms of lack of help and because at the infancy of ministry I also suffered it I said no it's not a good thing to be anointed and to be incapacitated financially I told you if you are incapacitated financially you will steal you will tell lies and most likely you will compromise and I didn't want any of the three and I said, Lord, there is a way out. I humble myself. I admit that I do not know. Nobody is born with knowledge. It is acquired by passion and pursuit. Transformation is not an inheritance. You don't inherit transformation. Everybody contends for it. And if there is something wrong with your mindset, if it is empty or you are wrong, you have wrong beliefs, you can change. For someone here, let me tell you, stop trying to learn everything in the Bible at once. Even if you're a man of God, take it one by one. You can dedicate the month of July. Since you see that the healing ministry is part of the requisite graces, the signature graces you will need. Why don't you camp with the healing ministry? Use the month of July. Your personal study should be the healing ministry of the Spirit. Get materials get videos get scriptures study as you invest yourself studying something will come upon you light from heaven one night you may be the only one studying and god will show you a scripture nobody has seen or not seen the way you are seeing it and that becomes the anchor scripture for a global healing ministry who is god speaking to pray in the spirit in one minute Pray in the spirit in one minute. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Pray in the spirit in one minute. The manifold grace of God attracted, multiplying, establishing your life by your contention for illumination contend for it contend for it contend for light contend for light in the name of Jesus